Hello and welcome to Microsoft Excel course Advanced Part 3. In Part 2, we have discussed how to make use of the auto sum command. In Part 3, we will see how we can insert an image, a shape and a background to a worksheet. So, in this part, we will discuss how to insert an image in a cell in a worksheet, how to place a picture as a background to a worksheet. Plus, we will also see how we can work around with shapes and smart art, how we can insert these two things on our Excel worksheet. I have some data in place on our worksheet over here. Now, let's move on to inserting an image in a cell. Say I want this is my uh, record where I have the marks of all the students and I want to insert an image with this as well. Say for uh, just this is an example where we have the marks and I want to place give it to my students and I want to place some pictures as well. Maybe at the top we have the uh, marks half yearly marks written and we have a big, uh, image as well. Let's insert a row and let's quickly add in some data here. See. Annual examination marks. We have the marks over here. Let's place it in the center we have the marks here and I want to place an image here as well let's increase the size of this we have an example over here where we have the records of all the students the marks of all the students for the annual examination and together with the this result I want to place a picture also say in this cell which we have over here I want to insert an image so to insert an image just click on any cell and make it as an active cell in your insert tab and under your illustrations group click on pictures we'll talk about shapes also and smart as well click on pictures now you if you have the pictures saved on your system you can use this device plus these online pictures are also available plus stock images which are free pictures you can make use of this i already have a picture on my system let's click on my device now choose a picture of your choice say i want to insert this picture and click on insert now the picture will be inserted the size is big you can always adjust the height and width of this picture or you can also right click over here and click on format picture once you click on format picture you get this these options over here you can always change the height and width of your picture from here also that can also be done once you are done you can close this say let's place this in this particular cell let's resize it i want to place it over here i can always adjust let's adjust the sizes over here these sides we can make use of the corner handles and place the picture if you look closely we have inserted a picture here together with the heading Now, if we want to change the background of our worksheet, that can also be done. Make the sheet as whichever sheet you are working on and where you want to insert the picture. It should be your current sheet. Click on page layout and under the page setup group, you have the background option. Click on background. It will open our dialog box asking you from where you want to insert the picture you can make use if wherever your picture is saved you can make use of that or you can also search the net and choose a picture of your choice let's browse from our system i have a picture over here this one and click on insert you can see over here a picture is being placed as a background of my worksheet 
you can see the data in front we have placed an image over here and plus the picture is in place so we have discussed how we can insert an image we have discussed how to place a background let's move on to inserting the shapes and the smart art on our uh, sheet over here so in your insert tab under illustration group if i click over here you have shapes you can have smart art if i click on smart art i'll get all the options you can scroll down over here and select a list or a process or a cycle whichever you want and it will be inserted in your worksheet over here say i want a cycle over here something like this so you can select it and place the data in the in these boxes which are provided and that can be done to insert a shape go to insert tab illustrations group and click on shapes select a shape of your choice from all these options which are provided you can scroll down and see all the shapes say i take this particular shape and i click and drag over here you can always uh, once you select the shape you get the shape format option over here you can change the color of the shape let's make it a different color so it is visible to us say this color i want it with my sheet over here you can work around with all these options you can apply different shading effects you can work with word art you can have different types of text effects over here let's add some data to this shape which we have inserted right click and click on edit text the cursor will be placed you can also double click and place the cursor inside if you let's see let's say the school opens on say some date over here timings some timings over here some other information please be on time for the class i want to say this you can always as i said you can always work around with these options let's select it you can change the font color from here you can choose a different color for yourself you can see the changes over here now it is visible so in this part we part 3 we have discussed how we can insert an image to our worksheet how we can insert a shape plus all the formattings which are available on the shape you can apply a background to your worksheet you can add in a smart art to your worksheet and make your work presentable in part 4 we will discuss how to make use of cell and range names thank you